And welcome back. Now we're talking with Satira Farahani, one of our IBEST student graduates, and uh, welcome to the show, Satira. Thanks, Frank. Satira, um, tell us a little bit about um, your story, how you came. You're originally from Iran, and how did how you came to be here, and your situation. Um, I came. I moved from Iran to Germany and to United States. After that. Um, I'm 38 years old, single mom with two boys. Ali goes to college this fall, and um, Ashia is in third grade. So, Satir, what uh, was your decision made up of when you decided to go to college? What were you thinking about at that point? To be honest with you, I was tired of working long time um, with minimum wage, um, and as a single mom, I was thinking I have to do something so and my friends were talking with me and say you have to go to college because most of my friends around me are educated so they always told me you have to go to college or you have to go learn something study something so that's why I decided to go to college and one day we went to the college and um, I heard about the IBEST program which was short term program and I thought it's going to work for me so that's why I decided to go um, but before that they always thought it's too late for me to go to college um, because after, of your age or what yeah because of my age okay. I thought I'm too old to go to college <laughs> I always thought um, col college is for young people like after high school you have to go to college and after 20 years um, not being at school I thought it's going to be so hard especially with English second language Finally, I decided to go, and I went, and I, I'm i thinking it, it's not that hard, mm -hmm. because when you decide, you can do it. And you, as, as, as a single mom, and going to school, and still working at that time, right, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people would say, you know, that's just too tough to do, but from what we know, your case is very similar to a lot of students at CBC. It is tough. It's not a piece of cake. So um, it needs lots of energy, time, and um, you have to make your mind and decide. Mm -hmm. So when you decide and say, I want to do it, you can do it. Um, yeah, it was hard. I was supposed to take my son to school, go school myself, right after that to work, then go pick up my son from school. We put him to bed, and then after that, to start my homework. So it was hard, but it's doable. It's, you can do it. <laughs> and, and it wasn't long then after graduation that, that you got a job in your field? Actually, I was so lucky that um, I got job too fast. I was interviewed and they um, accepted me and offered me the job in Hanford. But um, even if I couldn't get that job, with the skills that I learned uh, in this program, um, I, I'm sure I could get another job. I mean, Maybe it could longer, but I could. Tell us uh, about your job and the skills that you learned for this job. Um, the skill that I learned um, was computers, a skill that you needed anywhere that you go to work. Mm -hmm. You almost anywhere you needed. And you were in the office technology program. Yes, I was in technology um, office program. and. Um, it's not just that, you learn lots of other things, uh, I mean, mm -hmm. right. plus that. That's so. fantastic. So uh, I'm glad that uh, you made it through our program. You're quite an inspiration to others. Um, I strongly recommend it to whoever wants to get better job and make more money to go to this program because it's fast and um, it's very helpful. So I strongly recommend it. So Tara, thanks for visiting with us today. Thank you. And we'll be right back with this year's ASB president at CBC right after this.